so that's the first part. Let's do that one more time, and then I'm gonna go into just a little bit more before we try it with music. There's like two phrases in the beginning that kind of fit together, so I wanted to do those together. So for lap heel, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, one, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, one, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now, from there, your right foot's free. You have shuffle, step, heel, stamp. So you have a shuffle, step, heel, stamp. So full foot stamp. So you have one and two and three, hold four. So let's try that together. Shuffle, step, heel, stamp. Five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle, step, heel, stamp, hold four. Cool, you're gonna do that twice. That's on the you can brush my hair and take me anywhere. So one and two and three, hold four. Five and six and seven, hold eight. So let's try that. Five, six, twice, go. One and two and three, hold four. Five and six and seven, hold eight. Awesome. You finish off the phrase with three shuffle step heels and a stamp. Shuffle step heel, shuffle step heel, shuffle step heel, stamp, hold eight. So it's basically the same thing, but it's like you do one and then a stamp, one and then a stamp, and then you do three and then a stamp. It's the tap code. One, then one, then three. So you have one and two and three, hold four, five and six and seven, hold eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, hold eight. So let's try that together and then we'll try it from full apps and we'll do it with music. Five. Well, let me wake up my computer before it decides to get angry. All right. Full app. No, from shuffle step, you'll stamp. One more time. Five. Six. Seven, eight. One and two and three, hold four. Five and six and seven, hold eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, hold eight. Good. So now let's go from full up heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, five, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, five, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three, hold four. Good. Okay, so let's do that with music from the top. It's the first time we're trying it with music, so it's okay if it's a little wonky. We're just hearing how the beats fit to the song. Also, this is a fingerstyle guitar cover, which I've gotten really, really like in love with using on this channel. But also for this one specifically, there are no words. So if you're worried about it being appropriate for any age, there are no words. It is just the melody being played on guitar. So you can use this cover in class Sorry about the cicadas, by the way. But you can use this cover in class. You can use it with your kids hanging around. Um, there are no words. So if you're worried about the song being inappropriate, I got you. Because I know it can be in certain very like conservative areas. It can be a wildly inappropriate song. I live in an area that's very like music and aesthetic conservative. Um, so I have to keep an eye on that for the classes that I teach locally. Um, but you know, if you live in an area where like that's not really a concern, go ahead, use the original, it's totally fine. But if you're concerned, this version has no words. And that, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to go. If you're, if you're worried about the lyrics at all, don't take a chance on it. Just play just the instrumentals and you should be good to go. Anyway, let's try it. Ready? Full lap, heel, ready? Five. to the next 
section. If you need more practice than just the three times we run it together, that's the beauty of this being a video. You can always rewind it, practice as much as you need, and meet me at the next part when you're ready. I love video tutorials for that reason above all else. One more time. Right, Wally? I'll do a Wally song again someday. Don't worry, I got you. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. If you're not like 
trying to get them in big movements. Make the movements smaller, relax. If you miss a brush, you miss a brush. You'll pick it up next time. Relax. All right, let's do it one more time and then we will move on to the last section. It's a longer combination, but I taught you like two whole sections in one in the first one. So while the advanced version, same length, has four sections, this one only has three because the first one was double length. All right, so one more time, then we'll do it the last section. <laughs> So we're going to do it one more time just to make sure. So if you get a bonus run, cool, we get a bonus run. If you, if it turns out that now there's three, cool, I made up for my mistake. All right, one last time and then we'll move on to the last section. I really, really can't remember. <laughs> tutorial on that. It's right down in the description of this video. You can click on the step tutorial playlist. It'll take you to this whole playlist. Find the step you're looking for. In this case, tack any. Click that. It's a whole video on how to do it. But I'll also go over it very briefly here. So you just did five and six and seven hold eight. You have step spank touch, step spank touch, step spank touch, step spank touch. If you call it brush instead, step brush touch, step brush touch. So it goes one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Because it's so slow, I'm staying flat-footed, but technically, you're supposed to be up here. But just to make sure that I stay on time, I may stay flat-footed just for the tutorial purpose. But I, I wanted to give you proper technique. It can be on the balls of the feet. It can also be with a stamp. That's fine too. It can be done either way. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be flat footed, just FYI. So it goes step, step, touch, step, step, touch, step, step, touch, step, step, touch. So you're going to put all of your weight in it. Make sure you brush towards your other foot and then don't put any weight on it because you need to use it again. Cool. So let's just do that four times and we got this. Five, six, Seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. Your right foot is free. You have step, shuffle, jump toe, step, scuff, heel, stamp. So it starts off with a maxi forward. Step, shuffle, jump toe. From there, you have step, scuff, heel, stamp. So it's a maxi board. I also have a step tutorial on that. So if you need that step, it is in that playlist. But in general, it is a step, a shuffle, leap onto that foot, toe. So step, shuffle, toe, toe. Your right foot is free from there. You have step, scuff, heel, stamp. So it goes five, six, 
That was the worst counting I've ever done. It goes one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. So it's a little slow, so it will require some balance. Let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Good. Let's try it from the tack ante into that. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Good. Okay, so let's try the whole thing with counts, then we'll do it with music. We'll put it all together. So the whole thing with counts from full lap heel. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, five, three. some of the pieces. Third time we do it, we try to pick up more pieces, but we have fun. So that's, that's what's happening in the next 10 minutes. There's your layout. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> transitions go and how to how it all flows together. You got this. I just looked down and I was like oops. Ready? Five. Barbies or maybe like 
you grew up watching the Barbie movies, or maybe you hated Barbie, but like you were like me and I didn't really like dolls. They kind of creeped me out when I was little. Um, so I didn't play with dolls, but I played with the dream house because I just wanted to like redecorate that house all the time. And that makes so much sense now with the amount of HGTV that I watch. Doesn't that make sense? <laughs> I also played The Sims, not to play with the characters, but to build the houses. So there's a, there's a recurring theme. But anyway, it's fun. Just have fun with this song. Even if you're not a big Barbie fan, like you can't help but really, really just have fun with this song, with the whole Barbie concept. So yeah, make it fun. We got this, let's do it. <laughs> button and join the tap fam. We've got choreography tutorials just like this, step tutorials like I mentioned earlier, technique exercises, step tutorials and technique exercises come out new every Tuesday. I got to film a few today. Um, <laughs> and then choreography tutorials come out on Saturdays, brand new content for you every single week. And in between Tuesdays and Saturdays, we have mini tutorials that come out in the short section of YouTube and on Instagram and on TikTok. I've got free tap dance class for you every day of the week. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. It is the best way of supporting this channel. I want 100,000 subscribers with, by the end of next year. So the best way you can help me out with that is get your students to subscribe to my channel. I promise everything on this channel is age appropriate. It is clean and it's just supplemental. It's, I'm not here to replace any teachers. I'm here to be supplemental. Like if your students miss a class, you can say, oh, well, you can make it up by doing this tutorial, which I do with my college students. Or you can like, oh, if you need extra help with wings, this person on YouTube has a great tutorial on wings. I think it's a great tutorial, but anyway. So have your students, have your friends, have everyone subscribe because that would really, really make my dream come true, hitting 100,000 subscribers. I'm giving myself a year and a half to hit that goal and I really hope to. So please subscribe to this channel. If you wanna support this channel in other ways, like I said, you can buy this really comfortable hoodie um, or any of the other merch. It's on my store section of YouTube. It's also on my store section or shop section of Instagram. And I would not endorse something if I would not use it or if I don't find value in it. And when I tell you I want every color that this comes in, which unfortunately is only two, um, I'm gonna buy the white one. I want it with different designs on it. Like I am obsessed with this hoodie. It is the most comfortable hoodie I've worn in a very long time. So I would not endorse something, even if it was something of mine, if I didn't believe in it. And boy, did I luck out by not testing the product and it turns out great anyway. So um, if you wanna support me by doing that, go ahead. If you wanna support me in other ways, I do have a Patreon. This channel is completely free to access. It will remain completely free to access. But if you want to support this channel, I do have a Patreon where you can support me in other ways as well. Um, also, while you're at the subscribe thing and telling everybody that you know to subscribe, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because it tells YouTube that people love tap dance. So that's, that's a thing that we want YouTube to know because then it'll push every tap dancer's videos out into the algorithm. So subscribe, thumbs up, get yourself one of these really comfortable hoodies. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.